You hear about that Georgia restaurant that apologized after the video of the guy drinking margarita out of a woman's ass went viral? Uh, what are they apologizing for? A good time? <clears throat> Georgia restaurant furious note to couple who used funnel to perform disgusting act with margarita. Oh, I haven't seen this. I thought this is the one that went viral where it was like the guy and girl and she was like twerking and he like poured a beer down her butt crack and then started drinking it. This looks like the guy stuck a funnel in her asshole and drank a beer from it. That's, that's unhinged. That, that's a little, okay, that's a little much. Even, that's, that's even harder than the other one. Yeah, I see why they're mad. They did that just right in the restaurant too. We can't see. Of course you can't see. I can pull up a fucking video of a guy drinking beer out of a girl's asshole. Oh, right. Not beer. You're right. Margarita. We recently became aware of an inappropriate incident that took place in our restaurant. We want to make it clear that such behavior is completely unacceptable, does not reflect our values or mission to provide a family-friendly dining experience. Although the woman was a willing participant in the funnel cocktail, the restaurant is currently investigating the situation further. Check out the American Privacy Act. It'll stop data collection and selling. Well, that's not getting passed. I'll tell you that much. Holy shit. If that's actually what it aims to do, that is definitely not passing in America. That's like the number one business plan for half of these companies. <laughs> the Privacy Act grants individuals increased rights of access to records maintained about them as well as the right to seek amendments of records maintained about them. The Treasury process requests for records under both Privacy Act and the Freedom of Information Act. This is in, Was this in 2022? Because if so, it already got declined. Oh, no, here. there's. It looks like they did something in 2022, but they're doing something now in 2024. The American Privacy Act. This one. I'm assuming it's this one, right? The May 31. Sounds like too much freedom for it to pass. <laughs> yeah. That sounds, that sounds like too much. We can't handle that kind of freedom. We need to be told what to do and what we're allowed to have access to. And it's not our data. So that's got no shot. It also stops, it also makes it, Jesus, it also stops companies from making it hard to stop you from canceling a service. Oh, this is dead in the water. This targets companies too? Every single politician is in the pockets of hundreds of companies. But here's hoping for the best. I'm just going to take your word for it on the cliff notes here, but it's already, it, the funeral's already here. It's going after companies and trying to help with privacy? No fucking shot. It's in Senate right now, the House just finished revising it. What did they, <laughs> they revised it to take out all of the stuff about <laughs> keeping your privacy, keeping your own data. Hey, so we really like the American Privacy Act, but can we get rid of the stuff where like we can't harvest their data as easily anymore? And also that stuff about the companies, like, come on, is that necessary? Is that necessary? No, I don't know. I just learned about the American Privacy Act just now, but if the cliff notes are accurate, that'd be an amazing thing to pass. But I don't see that happening. Lobbying is too powerful. Too many naive people thinking they got our best interests in mind? That's definitely not it. It's not naivete. It's everyone's too fucking old and too power hungry. The way people cling to power is crazy in the Senate. How like how old was uh, Ruth? She was like 200 something years old, right? When she passed? She wasn't going to give that shit up for anything. They had to pry it from her cold dead fingers. People just will cling to power forever. Fucking uh, Mitch McConnell shuts down every time he appeared on camera. Oh, was I thinking of uh, Finstein? Not Ruth? How old was uh, Finstein? Who, who was older? One of them was like almost 100 something years old. I might have got them confused. But one of them was old as shit. And then Mitch McConnell, who's also ancient. What happened with that Skull and Bones game? I don't know, dead. So quadruple A means the game dies twice or four times as fast. Yeah, I'm talking on my ass. Let's see. Maybe Skull and Bones is crushing it. This could be Ubisoft's next flagship title. Let's check the Steam charts. Or wait, is it, it's not on Steam, is it? It's the Uplayer exclusive, huh? That's convenient. Now I'll never know the player count. Because Ubisoft would never publish that. The only thing I can find for player count is this. Skull and Bones had 87% less PS5 players than Sea of Thieves last week. I don't know where they get this number from. Ubisoft claims in a press release that there had been a tremendous response. Yeah, I'm sure. People loved that. The first quadruple A game. Did you see Hellblade 2 did horrible sales? People think Ninja Theory will be shut down soon. Well, I said that before it even came out. Microsoft let this game flounder. And I said that when it does... 
Ninja Theory will unfortunately be shut down. I'd love to be proven wrong, though. I think Ninja Theory is a very talented developer. Hellblade 2 was 37th overall in terms of full dollar sales for May 2024, putting it at 21st overall on the Xbox Series console. Hellblade 2 did not receive a physical release, notably Hellblade 2 released on Xbox Game Pass at launch, and that was born out of its engagement data where it ranked 12th on Xbox in terms of monthly active users. That puts it behind Fallout 76 on the platform, but ahead of Jedi Survivor, Apex Legends, and Forza. Are you telling me Apex Legends on Xbox has less players than Fallout 76? Yikes. That's going to go even lower with Season 22's new roadmap from them. So we don't have like an actual exact number of sales or anything. <sighs> Unless it's on here somewhere. Can I scroll down to number 37? Honestly, the new Battle Pass system isn't as bad as everyone's saying. You best not be talking about Apex Season 22 like that, Buster. You kidding me? Charging double the price <laughs> and you can't buy the Battle Pass with the Apex currency? What? No, it's trash. That's super trash. That's turbo trash. That's like almost criminal trash. Look at the Quebec prison escape. You'll be pleased. It was a spectacular escape that made headlines around the world. Happened almost three years ago to the day. It happened at the San... She looks so miserable. She looks like she hates being there right now. I'm the rope that was dropped into the yard for them. You can see them struggling, <laughs> even being helped at one point by their accomplices. And in the end, they decided to tie the rope around their feet. This is like some Home Alone shit. They were eventually Fucking wet bandits here. Happened, uh, just Man, this is the worst escape I've ever seen. Drug traffickers. Brother, next time you get thrown in the slammer and are about to escape, hit some push-ups, hit some pull-ups or something in the fucking prison's gym. This is just sad. This is just sad. Oh my god, his upper body strength is non-existent. And it looks like he's like weighing the helicopter down. I think they have something tied down here. I don't know what the fuck it is. Man, put a fucking anvil there. The inmates who are it's another person. In oh, is it? In Montreal. How in heavy are cases, these two? The guards in centers didn't shoot. Uh, and the union tells us that's because they don't have guns. So there's really not- <laughs> What do they have? Mean words? <laughs> Stop. No, don't. Don't do it. Hey, stop! Stop! It's like that scene from Yu-Gi-Oh! Where they censored the guns in the American release. So when they bust in on Kaiba, they just point their finger at him like this. And then he jumps out the window. I feel like if anywhere should have guns in Canada, it should probably be a fucking prison. <laughs> it's an honor system. Yeah, it seems to be working well. They just let the prisoners escape on a helicopter for 30 fucking minutes while one of them can't do the pull-up to get to the top. They don't have guns because inmates try to take them. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but then in a situation like this, you'd probably at least want someone in a sniper tower. Just have the people with the guns don't be around the inmates if they can't keep the guns safe. You see the PS5 dev kit sold on eBay for $6,500 disguised as a pizza kit. Yeah, is that real though? I saw that headline. That seems... Ridiculous. Because uh, surely the person who sold this would be easily tracked down. Like, there's not a ton of dev kits that go out, right? It's a beautiful picture, by the way. Also, the console looks so cool. Because this, this is the console, the dev kit. What can a PS5 dev kit even do? I'm not smart enough to know exactly what you can do with a dev kit. I think if you're someone with, like, nefarious intentions, you could probably find, like, source code shit and dump it on on the internet which could create a huge problem but i don't even know if that's possible no you still can't do anything you still need the account to access oh is that right you hear about phidias the dude who got arrested in japan is in european parliament i did i also saw that he released a video going over his salary as a, a member of the european parliament he makes like 700 grand a year now no, he didn't. I saw it on Twitter. Let me see if I can find it real quick. How much money do I make as a member of the European Parliament? Well, it's a lot. So let's start with my salary. I get 8,000 euros a month in my pocket. And in addition to that, every working day, I come here in the Parliament and sign, I get another 350 euros. 
which is a bit strange. Apart from that, I have 30,000 euros per month for the salaries of my team. Also, I can have an office in my country and they give me 5,000 euros a month for that. Another cool experience, I'm allowed to use 10,000 euros a month to bring people here in the parliament for a few days to meet and understand what we are doing here. In addition to what? That's the stupidest one. That's just the dumbest one. Yeah, we'll give you 10k a month if you want to just like bring some goobers in here to take a peek at what's going on. Like if you want to have them look under the hood. Yeah, 10k a month. Yeah, go for it. You don't. I mean, you don't have to bring anyone here if you don't want to. I guess I'm fine. And I'm curious to hear if you think we are overpaid or underpaid. Let me know in the comments. Underpaid. It should be millions. You should be. You should be being paid millions for this kind of great work. <laughs> Didn't this guy commit crimes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. That doesn't matter, though. Crimes don't matter. Who cares, huh? Water under the bridge. Have you seen DJ Khaled running and jumping into a pool? I have not. DJ Khaled jumps into a pool. Actually, pretty graceful. That could have been so much worse. His running form is also, like, really intimidating. There's another one where he jumps in a pool for Cardi B and his entire ass falls out on camera. That'd be kind of cool. And this one, it's really nice because it looks like he actually has some titties in here. <laughs> like, it actually looks like he's wearing a uh, uh, a one-piece bathing suit. You see Khaled dancing on a cruise ship, holding a cheeseburger while his wife pulls up his pants that are falling off him. DJ Khaled says he can eat five burgers back-to-back. -back. Protein. Motivational. Cool title. This isn't the one you told me about, but now I'm curious. I'm not making this up. Not because Buzz my brother. This is the Trill Burger for real. First of all, let me tell you a story. It was raining. You know I'm the light. Bun is the light. Bun walks in my house. Right when we come out and set up the Trill Burgers. Get the sun. The clouds cleared up. The sun came out. And look, look, look. That's a sign from God. Yes. The problem is this. We have a problem already? I can eat like five of these back to back. Oh, okay. No, on everything I love. Oh, good bite. Yeah. Well, he didn't eat five burgers back to back, unfortunately, but that's okay. Where can I find the cruise ship dance? Now I'm curious. I do love this one, though. This is his best move. His pants really just almost never stay on. Those puppies were about to fall off there, too. Oh, is it this one? Oh, wait, no. Basketball again. I know this one. God did. I can't watch the Cardi B one of his whole ass cheeks come out, brother. The video is called DJ Khaled's wife pulling up his pants. Aw, babe. All right, DJ Khaled wife pulling up pants. Aw, babe. God, he's so smooth with it. That's nice. See, that's sweet. That's so sweet. DJ Khaled shits his pants. Does he really? Nah, it's gotta be a meme. Oh, yeah, it's just a meme. I know that original clip. Did you see a couple people... Do you see a couple guys stole nearly $2 million worth of sports cards from the Dallas card show this week? Nah. Let me take a peek. Predetermined and targeted $2 million in baseball cards reportedly stolen at Dallas card show. Allen, police are investigating the reported theft of around $2 million worth of sports cards. The report theft, reported theft happened Sunday at the Marriott Dallas Allen Hotel. Members of his team were distracted by three people while a fourth person reached under one of Jai's tables and walked away with the case. Jai said the man who took the case had been stacking chairs nearby for over an hour, leading Jai's team to think he was just a worker at the venue. These guys have been scoping us out all day after footage review and even went through the process of changing clothes. Wait, what? I'm going to pull up the ring, the surveillance. Yeah. The owner of American That sounds like it was so easy. Up the burglary video. <laughs> Damn, that's not even stealthy. He just takes a crowbar to the fucking glass. How far away were they from this area to not hear that? They must be like on the opposite. Oh, well, they must have been at the venue. Like this triple autographed card valued at almost 5K. Let me get this real. Can I? Can I get and in less no, you can't answer that. We're interviewing you, please. A break in the case from another car shop. Her suspected getaway driver took off. Holy Office shit. Oh, my God. Her outside that was tragic. Well, this too. That was a super close dub right there. Someone picked up that cup that now no longer has a lid, and they almost had that. That was super close. The smooth timing. He just got really lucky. 
He got so lucky that at the exact moment he reaches down, he turns away. Though, when he turns back around, I really am shocked he didn't see this. He just must have been really into this conversation, whatever it was. That's sad, though. Well, I'm sure they've got plenty of footage of this guy. That was an accomplice. Whose cards are they? I assumed it was this guy's cards. Who's the owner of the cards? I assumed it was the guy in the hat. Because he kind of comes over here. But maybe, maybe it's his cards? Actually, it must be his cards, because he's putting the cards out. And the guy in the hat already comes from over here. You're right. I got him mixed up. Did you hear about the Florida Japanese restaurant that drugged their customers with meth? On purpose? This was in 2023. Florida restaurant closes after seven customers allege they tested positive for meth after eating there. I actually think I remember talking about this a little bit. It was an accident, right? This is the one that was an accident. They wrote in a Facebook post on July... Sit here. Wrote in a Facebook post on July 7th, they would permanently close the restaurant after 10 years in business, blaming news reports and online social media about the allegations. Two groups of people were seated next to each other, ate at the restaurant, reported feeling drugged and odd after eating at the restaurant the day before. They went to the hospital where at least seven people tested positive for meth. A, a to-go container for, a to-go to container of food from the restaurant was tested and came back, came back presumptive positive for meth? There was nothing linking the restaurant to the accusations, and after a clear survey by the health department, we reopened our doors. So where'd the meth come from then, huh? Phantom meth? You hear James River Church Men's Conference had a male stripper performance? Is that the monster truck one? That's quite a, that's quite a change from the monster truck year. They had a male stripper perform for him? I mean, hey. Good for them. The monster trucks were cool too. Could have combined the two of them. Male strippers and monster trucks for the church ceremony. I thought you were going to that. I wanted to, but I decided not to. What was it called again? The James something, 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 something? I don't remember. James River Church 2024 Stronger Men's Conference. Wow. Designed to empower and inspire men. And yeah, it looks like they brought out a bunch of male strippers. That's... That's a really interesting decision. What was it for? for like, the, the conference is already weird at James River. Like, they bring out monster trucks and had, a, what was it, Black Panther fighting the CIA or something? But what would the male strippers be for? Swallowing swords and shit? Clock in the morning. The reason I'm hoarse is I have been praying for you. So, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, he's giving a sermon and has a male stripper right here dancing. Like, is that to keep people engaged? What is the point? <laughs> it's like the, uh, what is it? The Brazilian news segments where they have the news presenters naked to try and keep people engaged with the news. It's like subway surfers. <laughs> yeah. A pole. <laughs> okay. The same thing that's used in the strip club for women. We have the Jezebel spirit to seduce men. Yeah, they do. In front of that was a man who ripped his shirt off like a woman does in front of a pole at a strip club. Yeah, yeah. That man what? then ascended. See, our God is not arrogant. He doesn't ascend. Our God is humble. He descends. They just clap after, like, anything he says. There was a pole. Yeah! And there was a man on it. Woo! And he took his shirt off like a woman. Yes, he did! It's so weird. <laughs> Wait, what is this conference this year? Yeah, and you're right. It was an army tank last year. They brought out an army tank. I love how they just have a cool motorcycle here. What's happening? They're really mad at this guy. Wait, this is like a WWE promotion right here. So who's the heel? This guy's now beefing with the, the guy in the hat talking about the strippers. What's hap What did I just miss? What did I miss? Did someone fill me in on the James River church lore? Why do you think we know? I have no fucking clue. I, uh, I thought maybe I missed something. 
to speak again. I want to find out about Elijah. What is happening? What is ha- what 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 in the fuck is happening now? Now they're just like airing out like this therapy session in front of everyone. Yeah, so we went outside and talked. We kissed, whatever. Now we're like super good friends again. You've been like a great person and all that. And this, that. what, what, where are this? What, what happened to strippers? What does this have to do with the strippers? So the first pastor was complaining about the strippers that performed the day before. The second pastor is the organizer of the conference who was offended. Okay, thank you for the lore. So that's it. That's what happened. God, it is crazy how many people go to this. They actually sell out an entire stadium for this shit. I don't know what's happening up there. It's censored, but I'm not taking any chances with James River now. I don't know. <laughs> wait, okay, what, 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 hold on. What, what, wait, just a, ju- wait, just a patty flipping minute. Are they just playing porn on the big screen? What happened in 2024 James Rivers conference? It's blurred, but I can make out the movements. <laughs> what in the fuck is happening? Oh my god. I don't know. Is it... There's no way. This just looks like it's full penetrative porn that they're playing here. I can't quite tell because it's blurred, but that's what it looks like. Oh no, we're good. Wait. <laughs> okay, we're fine. That the That's not what I thought it was at all, actually. I needed to hear the audio. What it is... Is it's the old guy? Okay, we're 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 so good. This is not a pair of titties. <laughs> the old guy is in a, a a shirt that's colored like skin, and the blur is making it look like titties, and it looks like he's jerking a wiener, but it's the mic. I can tell now when he's speaking. Uh, simple misunderstanding. You're dirty, brother. They brought they brought in strippers. They had, they had an entire section of strippers. Male strippers. I thought for sure this was like another one of those things where it's like, and now it's porn. I, so I was already in the mind frame. That's not my fault. They programmed me. That conversation. Okay, so now it's just going to be this fucking come down from that. So what was the point of the strippers then? And how long were the strippers there for? Let's read about it. Yeah, let me look it up. Pastor leaves stage after comments at James River Church Men's Conference. So he was crying over the strippers? Guest pastor was kicked off stage for comments about a sword-swallowing performance during James River Church Stronger Men's Conference. It's an annual event. We already know about it. So he said that the performance demonstrated the Jezebel spirit. Alex Magala, who performed on various Got Talent shows, including America's Got Talent, had opened the conference with what he called aerial sword-swallowing. And an act that consists of sword swallowing while performing acrobatics on a vertical male pole, metal pole. Before the word of God was open, there was a platform. There was a high place. On it was a pole. An Asherah. The same thing that was used in a strip club by women who have the Jezebel spirit to seduce men. So this is what he was talking about in that clip we saw there. So they, they didn't, it doesn't even sound like they had male strippers. They had a sword swallower. And this guy compared him to a male stripper. It's all, it's all just a bunch of hooey then. <laughs> this guy saw a dude swallowing a sword without a shirt on. And he's like, I got to pray about this. Shit. This is making me feel some type of way. <laughs> I got to shut it down. And he, I mean, he was dancing on a pole, so it kind of counts. I mean, not really. <laughs> it sounds like he's just doing acrobatics and sword swallowing. That's like America's Got Talent stuff. <laughs> I don't know. But the dude's like, Jezebel spirits done come in here and try to seduce me with this dude. And damn it. Damn you. You're testing me. Yeah, it breaks down on stage. You hear Super Earth was just discovered. You're talking about that planet that looks like an upscaled version of Earth. Yeah. It's an exoplanet, actually, I think. No, not that one. This is a new one. Let me see. Will it come up if I just type in Super Earth discovered, or is it just going to bring me Hell Divers? Discovery alert, a super earth in the habitable zone. Is it this one? Because this is January of this year. This isn't really new. It's only 137 light years away. The same system also might harbor a second earth-sized planet. Actually, 137 light years, that is close. So if we never figure out faster than light travel, we could probably get there in a few thousand years. Just Google super earth. It literally looks like an eyeball. Oh, 21 hours ago. Yeah, I see it. Webb's Super Earth Discovery. 
potentially habitable world, habitable world just 48 light years away. Hey, wait a minute. That's that's kind of like a little cosmic walk. That's not far. And that does look like an eyeball. That's very cool. It is an exoplanet. This seems cool. All we need to do now is crack faster than light travel. Fucking wormholes. Imagine flying there and finding out it was just a bug on the telescope lens. Yeah, that would be big. that would be big. Well, with the telescope, I'm sure you could zoom in far enough to. I mean, with the fucking James Webb, it's so crazy. You could probably like zoom in into the planet and then like into the the fucking uh, grains of sand on the planet. Our telescope technology is crazy. We could absolutely, at some point in the future, be able to see if there's any living creatures on that planet. Aren't microscopes maxed out? James Webb is probably as close to maxed out of a telescope as you can get. We would see the planet 40 years in the past. Which is still good enough if there's life there. I doubt, I mean, 40 years is really, really not bad when it comes to life. You could definitely get a, a good gauge. How long do you think until we find a livable planet close close to us to travel within our lifespan? That's not going to happen. There, There's no planet that's going to be somewhat... Do you mean like a planet with life on it or habitable? Because, I mean, you can find habitable planets like Mars is, like, habitable. Do you mean like planets with life on it? Mars kind of shit, though. Mars kind of boring, yeah. Because pretty much we'd never be able to go to any of these planets, like this one, ever. Unless we've cracked faster than light travel or something similar. Because 48 light years would be hundreds of thousands of years worth of travel at less than faster than light, tra at less than faster than light speed. Because it takes 48 years at light speed to get there. We haven't even figured out how to go faster than 1% light speed. Not technically true. Like the, um, God, what was that experiment? And not faster than light by any means, but there was that experiment about, was it wormholes? Christ, I can't remember. Where they actually sent a particle back in time like a second because it went fast enough or some shit. Was that wormholes? I can't remember now. <laughs> Warp drives incoming is so true. We may be able to reach this planet if we use Terryology. I know. That's what Terry and Tyler should do. You want to make me a believer in Terryology? Crack faster than light travel with your math. Imagine if he does, though. If Terrence Howard cracks faster than light travel, I'll suck his dick. Uh, I, I'll, I'd lose my fucking mind. It's not possible, though. Terrence Howard will... I, I'm going to go on record and say it. Terrence Howard will never invent anything that actually works with his math. If he ever invents something, he's going to be using already established correct calculations. I don't think he'll ever actually make something with his math. Now you got me rooting for him? Hey, if he does it, all power to him. That advances humanity... But <laughs> so far, ion thrusters and solar sails are our best bet at light speed travel right now. Hey, don't tell me. Tell Terrence Howard. He'll find a way to use the hydrogen proton and 1 times 1 equals 2 to really kickstart that shit. Not only will he crack faster than light travel, he'll find 5x light travel. So, 48 years away? No siree. He'll do it in 5. <laughs>